As we've seen, Muslim scholars and preachers and apologists are panicking because so many Muslims, especially young Muslims, are leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche. Why are Muslim scholars and preachers and apologists in a state of constant anxiety? Let's start the new year off right by reading a few comments from December. I was a Muslim with fear of not being saved. Finding Jesus made me the happiest person ever. Thanks to you, David. My son was brought up as Muslim by his father, and I could not reach him. I came across your videos and finally got him to watch them. At 29 years old, he has rejected Islam, became a Christian two years ago, is very active in church, and stood up to his dad, who says he is now dead to him. God bless you, David. Keep up the amazing evangelism. Ex-Muslim here. I'm 18 and so glad I left Islam after seeing your videos earlier this year while learning more about Islam. Thank you so much, David. Keep up your amazing content exposing this evil religion. I left Islam, Qadi. David Wood was one of the influences on me to leave the cult of Islam. Many of my friends in other countries are leaving Islam after they learn the truth about Islam. Thanks, Mr. David Wood. I'm an ex-Muslim after watching your videos. Ah! It's a terrifying cave troll. But there's a comment here. Hey David, ex-Muslim here. Your videos helped me realize the truth about Islam. I am now Christian. God bless you and God bless your family. Hey David, I'm an Egyptian ex-Muslim, left Islam in 2016, became Christian in 2020 thanks to you guys and also to the Muslim apologists. Let's never forget that Muslim apologists are even better at convincing people to leave Islam than we are. I was a person who converted to Islam when I was younger, and I really loved it, but the older I got, I got the nagging feeling something is wrong. After I traveled to another country for education and I started watching your videos, Apostate Prophet and Islam Critiqued, I was able to move away from the dark and moved to the light, although I am an atheist. I love you for the love and light you pass on. Hi David, I am an ex-Muslim because of you and the Apostate Prophet. I hated David Wood for disrespecting my religion until the Quran proved to me that he was right all along. I am following steps so that I can be a born-again Christian. Thank you, David Wood. I hated you so much in the past. Today I'm sorry, and I like you a lot from the very first video of you I watch, Where Did Jesus Say I Am God Worship Me? I am an ex-Muslim and so proud of it. You, David Wood, and Nabil Al-Fadi, and all the rest of amazing people who know more about Islam than Muslims themselves, tell us all the truth, helped me educate myself, and see how wrong I was my whole life. I am very grateful for your videos. I was baptized in August 2020. Now I am sending your videos to my sister, and thankfully she wants to know the truth. She isn't there yet, but I believe that your videos will help her see that Muhammad was a false prophet, and that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, David Wood. God bless you. Yasser Qadi must hate you so much, because I used to hate you when I was a Muslim. You are savage with your sarcasm, with your sarcastic face. But God used your videos to touch my heart. I'm a proud Christian now. God bless you, Dr. David. Hey, I found Shrek. But there's a comment here. Hello, David. I am a new Christian thanks to you and Sam. I found our true Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you both helped me get out of darkness into the light. I'm an ex-Muslim Christian. I'm 14, but I left last year in 2019 when I was 13. Thank you, David Wood and Apostate Prophet. Your videos helped me leave Islam. Please pray for my dad to come to Jesus. Prayer warriors, there's your prayer request. 
I'm an ex-Muslim Jew. I realized the truth of the evil false prophet Muhammad after watching David's videos. Interesting. An ex-Muslim Jew. That would typically be a Jew who converted to Islam but later realized that Muhammad was the most obvious false prophet in history. God bless you immensely. Ex-Muslim here. My life was a complete hell for me. I was on the verge of suicide, but your videos helped me discover Christ. I found happiness in Christ. This is a comment on a picture I shared of me and Nabil from 2002. Well, it's baffling to think that David and Nabil took this pic one day before I was born, and I grew up to leave Islam because of the two. Guys, I'm an ex-Muslim here. I turned Christian two days ago thanks to David Woods. Thank you, David Woods, and everyone who helped me reach Jesus, our Lord and Savior, love from Iraq. I like the plural David Woods because I do the work of several men. Hi there, David. Ex-Muslim here and new Christian, thanks to you. I have some problems in my life. I cannot wait to take baptism soon. It could change my life. Please pray for me, David Wood. I'm an ex-Muslim, thanks to you and Sam and Christian Prince and Al-Fadi. I have my own channel with Adam Seeker as the name, showing the deception of Allah and the love of Jesus Christ. I'm leaving that name up in case you want to check out the channel. This Yasser guy is really lost. Thanks to you, David, I know more than 10 people who left Islam. So I don't know what he is talking about. To be fair, I think he doesn't know also what he is talking about. It's wishful thinking, but is not the reality. Thanks once again for your effort, Brother David. May God protect and save you and your family from any kind of harm or danger. And this is a follow-up to the comments in a previous video where people from Muslim countries were saying that there are tons of ex-Muslims living secretly as apostates in Muslim countries. Looks like Syria is the same. Hello, David. You can add this. I'm a Christian Arabic Syrian girl, and here in Syria, there are so many ex-Muslims that are already Christians. And when I say so many, I mean thousands of people. And also in Egypt, there are thousands of ex-Muslims there who are secretly Christians. Jesus is building his church in the Middle East and the Arab world. Just wait until they allow people to convert to Christianity and Islam will basically be dead. I do spread the gospel here and Muslims are more than Christians in the churches. Thank you so much for your work. You are helping so many people. All the love. So those were some of the comments from December. It's always awesome to hear from ex-Muslims. And we heard from a lot of ex-Muslims in 2020. Of course, it's a new year. Are Muslim scholars and apologists going to come up with a way to stop the avalanche of apostasy in 2021? Or is the avalanche going to grow as Muslim scholars and apologists whine and lash out and threaten people for leaving Islam? Make your predictions for the year in the comments section. And if you end up being right, let's face it, you'll be more of a prophet than Muhammad ever was. I'm your teacher, boy! I'm your teacher, boy!